Hi, Greg Worley here with Caterpillar talking about the Cat Next Gen range of machines. Uh, they've been on the market now for around about seven years. Uh, our onboard technology that we put in the base of these machines in the beginning allows us to keep on adding new features each year. And we're at one of those milestones. We're actually starting to bring in uh, a new feature on the Next Gen 305. The 305 is now going to join the ease of use family means we can have entry-level gray control, ease of use indicate, and ease of use e-fence on a five-ton machine, both cab and canopy. So we haven't offered ease of use on a canopy before, so this is brand new. Uh, with it being ease of use, we do have that uh, CAT Next Gen Advanced Monitor, which is touchscreen here on a canopy machine and that allows us to interface with ease of use. Now ease of use is an entry level grade control system. We don't have any autos. We got some semi auto features such as bucket assist. We also have swing assist with either software package that you use. So machines are ease of use ready. All of our next gen five to 10 ton machines are ease of use ready. Either through the dealer at the factory, you can add the hardware. That hardware takes less than four hours to fit then do a software flash on the machine, add your software packages, indicator e-fence, and you are good to go in about four or five hours. Now, with it being an entry-level system, there's no autos, like I said. Uh, it works extremely well. People say, how accurate is it? It's as accurate as a golf ball. So with the ease of use system being an entry-level grade control system, it, it works very well, it uses earth reference. And one of our customers that we developed the ease of use system with sort of coined the term customer acceptable accuracy. You know, if we're pouring footings, and we want to dig a trench and put that concrete in, you know, we can be as accurate within that half of an inch. It's an indicate system, so it works by the operator seeing on green. So as accurate as you are as patient as an operator to hold that final pass on green for that accuracy. So you can get that water to flow from A to B by spending $10,000 or less, or you can get that water to flow from A to B spending $40,000, dollars $60,000 with a high-end grade control system. So our ease of use system is after that entry-level customer, getting into grade for the very first time, seeing what benefits it can give them with their job and their applications. And then the e-fence side of it, zone protection. With e-fence on these machines, I can set a floor, a ceiling, a wall, or surround around the machines with a radial e-fence. It automatically stops the machine traveling through those fences. So if you go into a job site, you go to your lowest power line, 15 foot, you tag it or dial in 15 foot, that machine will now go no higher than 15 foot the whole time it's on that job site. Through key cycle, it saves that fence until you reset it or disable that fence. Same with going below grade. If you know utilities are 10 foot deep, you can dial in nine foot and that machine will not dig any deeper than nine foot. And then you got zone protection left and right and all the way around the machine. So it's making machines safer on the job site. Also making machines more productive on the job site as well with the uh, e-fence system. And it's all born because of the technology that we have built into these next gen machines. We said from the very, very beginning, these are very smart machines and we continue to add development onto them. We'll talk more about that in a moment when we talk about another machine. So we've got the ease of use entry level grade system. There is a customer base out there who's skeptical. They look at these machines and say, it can't work. There's no laser, there's no GPS. The system today works absolutely fine, but we're taking another step up. So with our five to 10 ton ease of use machines, which have been ease of use ready, we're now adding laser catcher ready. You will now be able to add laser catcher to the five to 10 ton machines, either at the time of purchase or as an aftermarket kit, it goes to those customers who want that little bit extra assurance that they're gonna stay on grade wherever they go. The machine today, works with earth reference. Going forward, using a transmitter and a laser, we stay accurate wherever we travel to on the job site. We just can move around all day long. So the compounding area you get when you move a lot 
has been taken away. So that allows us another step from ease of use, entry level grade control system to a second opportunity before you get into the bigger, higher dollar systems that are out there on the market. We're targeting this to our building construction products, our VCP compact customers to get into that grade world and see how much more efficient they can do for it. So as I mentioned earlier, we've got a lot of base technology into these next gen machines. I'm gonna now show you another machine and let you know how this has managed to uh, help us to change the dynamic of the 303.5. So another one of those next gen uh, machines is the 303.5 CR compact radius machine. Now this machine has been on the market for about three years. Um, you know, the best manufacturer is the manufacturer who makes the best compromise and power performance for the customer. We uh, brought the 303.5 out, put it on the market. It worked like any other three and a half ton machine, but we always felt we could get more out of it. You know, when you start changing hardware on a machine, it becomes timely to get it done. It becomes expensive to get it done. But once again, the infrastructure of the next gen machines nearly turns them into a little bit like a Formula One car. Because using technology, I feel like I'm a Formula One driver sometimes with our engineers. We took our three and a half ton machine, we looked at it and said, how can we improve it? Well, at the beginning of this year, I sat in this machine for weeks on end thinking I was Lewis Hamilton because the engineers typed away in their laptops and I tried different things. At the end of the day, we redid the complete software tuning package on this machine with software. And in doing so, the reimagined 303.5 that went into production in April of 2025 actually is 25% faster. Transient speed, not top speed. Our top speed is still 3.2 miles an hour or whatever it is. Our transient speed, how you get from zero to 60, we improve that by 25%. And in doing that, when we reposition, when we move around, when we go to work, when you're moving, you're not trenching. So by doing that software change, we actually managed to improve our productivity by 35% against the previous version of the next gen three and a half ton machine by just, I make it sound simple, I know it's not, by just playing around with the software. It took our engineers a lot of time, a lot of tweaking, a lot of testing, but that's what we got now on the three and a half ton machine. So we encourage people to take a new look at this machine because if you bought one of the early, early next gen three and a half ton machines, you can take it to your dealer and we under warranty will update and improve your software to give you that same uh, increase in transient speed and that same increase in productivity. And that only comes around because of the smart technology we have on the next gen range of machines. Every one of our machines from the one and a half ton to the 10 ton has what we call an electronic pump or a smart pump. A lot of people run variable margin piston pumps today. We're actually running that same variable margin piston pump, but with a brain. That brain allows us to know hydraulic load. It knows no AC load if it's a cab machine. It knows the ambient temperature around the machine. It knows the temperature of all the fluids on the machine. And it even knows what altitude it is sitting at. So with all that information, as the engine lugs, we stay on the lug curve of the engine. So we have full time power and efficiency. And when it lugs down, our pump reacts to that because it's a smart pump. That's how we get so much performance out of these machines in the next gen range of machines. So we can run at altitude, we can run at sea level and get a lot of efficiency out of these machines and power when you need it. So we've talked about some of our technology updates. Now we're just gonna talk about a few hardware updates that we're making to the next gen range of machines. We're gonna walk over and look at the next gen 308. Well, we're over here with the next gen 308. Uh, this is now what we call an 08 series. Now we don't uh, put it on the badge here, it still says 308, it looks like the previous 308. So the previous 308 was an 07 series, this is an 08 series. Uh, you can see that by looking at the serial number plate. So what does the 08 next gen machine brings to the market? 
Well, we've got a new power source in the machine as well. We've gone from a C3.8 to a 2.8 engine. A lot of people get something, get, oh, the engine's gone smaller. The technology today with engines, we can get more power, more efficiency with a slightly smaller block. And that is what we're doing here with this next gen 308. So very pleased about the performance of the machine. This particular machine, even though it sits here in Centennial Gray, this machine is about 18 months old. This is what we call a pilot machine. This machine operated for nine months in Arizona doing field follow, testing the engine and some of the other features on this new 08 machine. After that, we pulled it out of the field and we took it to World of Concrete. We then did some marketing promotional videos with this machine while it was still yellow. We then painted it in the centennial gray to bring it to the end of the year as the party for our 100th year uh, celebrations continue throughout the rest of 2025. So now this machine uh, is available at our dealers and as well as having that new power plant in the machine, we've also for the first time ever introducing an angle blade on our eight ton range of machines. We've had the angle blade on the 306. It's very popular on the 306 and some of our smaller models because you can, using stick steer, travel the machine in the left hand and angle the blade in the right hand. This is like using a small dozer to do your finish and clean up work. So we're really pleased, looking forward to seeing the angle blade out there on the market. The other new item we put onto this machine is the 60 inch power tilt bucket. We've never had a power tilt bucket on a machine of this size before. We've had power tilt buckets on some of our smaller machines, but now we also have it on our eight ton platform. So this will go on the 308, the 309, and the 310. We're also adding, it's not on this machine, but we are gonna add with this uh, 08 series of machines, the third aux capability. When you get into some more of these advanced hydromechanical tools, people are now looking for third aux, third aux capability we have third aux capability on this machine. And then we look at safety. We've had the cameras standard uh, on the rear of these machines for quite some time. On our fixed bone 310, we've now put a side camera on it as standard. And on the 308, 309, there's gonna be a side camera on the far side for the blind side of the machine. Thinking about safety on the job side. A few other changes that are coming in the next gen range of machines. We are now uh, offering a 308 compact radius fixed boom. That machine is gonna displace our 307.5 standard tail fixed boom machine in the market. And so uh, that machine is now coming to market as we close out this year. So even though the next gen range of machines have been on the market for seven years, they're not standing still. So we're here with another one of our next gen 305s, uh, Centennial machine, party continues. Uh, we're now starting to look into what we're going to do, what are our customers going to do in the next 100 years? We know many excavators have become more and more versatile. And what helps with that versatility is expanding the range of attachments. Now, we've had the augers, thumbs, hammers for many years now. We're getting into the tilt rotate systems. This is not a TRS system. This is a rotating grapple mounted straight onto the machine, the G306. So we're seeing a lot of people looking for more and more attachments to try and get more done quickly, easily, and efficient. This G306 grapple, 360 degrees of rotation. You've got tilt with just a bucket cylinder, and then you have uh, the grapple to grab and stack logs. So even though these next-gen range of machines, 301.5 to 310, have been on the market for seven or eight years now, we continue to evolve them and develop them in order to make sure our customers have everything that they need to grow and be successful in their business. You want to find out more of what's going in the next-gen mini hydraulic excavator world? Contact your local cat dealer for further information. This has been Greg Worley. Thank you for listening.